things that are hot. <laughs> The very hot Oscar winner, Leonardo DiCaprio, and I'm so glad he won that Oscar, yeah. by the way. So glad. And he gave that great speech about climate change and we all have to get on board. He often speaks out about the need for a global reduction in carbon emissions, which are thought to pollute our planet. He's convinced of that, as are many, many people. But does his personal lifestyle, jet-setting around in yachts and planes, mean that he is a hypocrite? Well, there's a writer for Vox.com who says no, though DiCaprio may be responsible for 500 times the emissions as the average Joe, it's a blip in terms of the effect on global temperature. The writer says that really what he's talking about is making political change and policy change. Right. And so he is, he is really, uh, you know, walking the walk and talking the talk. But, mm -hmm. but I don't know, some people say at least he has a moral obligation. But he yeah, does, but isn't like, he talking out one side of his mouth, though? That's what I'm saying, because to me, it's like me promoting weight loss and eating a cheeseburger. You can't do, the same, you can't do the, all of that. You have to practice what you preach, and people follow by example, so be an example. I know, but we all can't... All the way around. But we can't all be Ed Begley Jr., which is, you know, great, and, I mean, he rides a bike, everything, and remember, Leo was one of the first people to be seen in a Prius. Right. So, I mean, yeah, he and he does a lot of of things that are so very much, you know, yeah. and he's all about advocating for regulations and innovation and that's the way he's trying to change this world so i hate what we try to action too, well, right, he, but he does but he does a he lot does a lot of but action the, but the boat speaks, throws me over the edge that yacht is the yacht but remember he doesn't own the yacht he rents the yacht look he enjoys yachts look us eating cheeseburgers is just as bad as riding a yacht then we need to come down on people like david geffen and paul allen and larry ellison who actually own mega yachts and buy a new one every but single year. are they preaching, year. though, the same, like, of stance do. of him yeah, on I global warming? Yeah, I think a lot of them have to. He took 30, like, 30 seconds of his, you know, his Oscar acceptance speech, which I applaud, taking a stance on something. So if you're going to take a strong stance, take a real strong stance and get rid of the boat. But, but here's but, the thing. I, I don't know. That's my I just don't think, no, I don't, don't like when, them. I don't like when people vilify people like Leonardo DiCaprio just because he took a vacation on a yacht. Okay, great. But he is really walking the Why don't we go after the big polluters who are really damaging? Why are we talking about But if yeah, you're gonna no, do it, yeah, you're not gonna. Yeah, Megan and I are all about Leonardo DiCaprio. I love him. I'll we love him to death. No <laughs> one can be eco perfect. You yeah, can be eco friendly, true. but you can't be eco perfect. Yeah. And we have to that's just give him a break. No, no, I don't expect it. him to be perfect. But when you make, like Megan is saying, when you go and become very vocal about something, then eyes is scrutinizing you. So that's yeah. where he put himself Hard. in that kind of position. But he used that well, opportunity in front of millions and millions and millions that's of people around the world to raise awareness. And we're all talking about it. So I can forgive a couple of weeks on a yacht. Yeah, right. And I think that yacht is terrible, and I would love a ride. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just to see for myself. Are you taking it on a cruise? Myself, the okay. that I am. I need to check it out. All right. It is often a relief to buy the bride and groom a gift off their wedding registry, right? Because that, that way you get them something that you know they want. But if you think what they want is a new toaster or a set of dishes, you might want to think again, because these days what many newly married couples want is for you to help pay for their honeymoon. Have you seen that? Yeah. The popularity of websites like Honey Fun and GoFundMe and Honeymoon, which help raise money for a post-wedding getaway, is soaring. Now, is this a great idea? Because a lot of these couples are people that maybe it's a second marriage later in life, so they have all the stuff they need. Mm -hmm. Or is it tacky? Is it I can see how people would think this oh, is well, tacky. Really yeah. <laughs> people think this is tacky. But here's the thing. If, if I'm going, if I'm giving a gift as a wedding, you know, president, Look, the $50 I'm going to spend on a toaster or $50 your honeymoon, it's your money. Do whatever you want right. to with it. So fine. Go for it. But I was thinking, uh -huh. we were talking about this. It's, uh, you know, it, when people have multiple sites, like go on their registry, fund their honeymoon, fund their house. There's right. people that have ha yeah. things to help, help them build buy a house, home, build right. a house yeah. on their registry. If you don't have money, money to get married and all of that stuff and have a honeymoon, do not get married because finances is the number one reason why people break up. You can't afford no honeymoon. Because, you know, first of all, Lance, you ain't giving nobody $50. No, you give them a $1,000, this, $1,000 of that. You know, I got to dip into my wig fund to give you some honeymoon money. Uh-huh. I'm not doing it. Do you believe, are you opposed to all registries? Then, no, or? no, no, no. I think, a, like, a nice, simple registry. I'm no, Italian. Well, you already have that but, stuff. No, but if you do, I was going to say, I'm, I'm married an Italian and yeah. customary to give cash. And I was so overwhelmed by that. People handing me envelopes, stuffing in my wedding dress. I didn't know what was going on. But that's customary, too. But it, I wasn't comfortable with it. And, well, Did you, you take the money? money? I can't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I think when it comes down to a lot of asks, 
keep it simple. Ask for like, you know, simple things. I don't know. It's I just think as long as you offer a traditional registry and the honeymoon registry, you kind of cover all your bases. Let your guests decide how they want to give you a gift. I don't think you should but demand yeah. a honeymoon donation. Yeah. Is there sort of an unwritten rule of etiquette that if you set up a, is there an unwritten rule of etiquette if you set up a honeymoon fund and people give to it? And I have friends who did that, and I have no problem with it. I gave to the, I gave to the honeymoon fund because everything else was gone. Sure. Um, but then, are they expected to use that money for the honeymoon, or can How they do? do if they so if use they don't it. go on the so trip. If, yeah, I mean, is that? And they just take I your mean, cash. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's the easy. I mean, it's just packing. go on their Instagram page for the next month and make sure they're going somewhere. <laughs> if they don't, they give me my money back. I mean, again, it's okay. tacky, but they can do whatever they want. Yeah, okay. I'm just happy for them that they're my friends, right? Uh, all right, we all know that fashion trends keep changing. Clothes can be very expensive. But would you wear clothes that you checked out from a fashion library? Yeah. You, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Well, three sisters, three sisters in the Netherlands, Holland, have created a first-of-its-kind consignment shop called Lena. The system has over 900 items. Over half of them are vintage. Uh, customers buy a monthly membership. It starts at around $22, and that allows them to buy points on their library card, and each item is then assigned a retail price in points. Is that cool? And there are other things. It's sort of like the offline version of some online, but what's rent the favorite? Rent, rent, rent the woman, right. exactly. Yeah, rent the yeah, I mean, this so, is such common practice. Every, by the way, every gown that you saw at the Oscars was worn by somebody else. Really? Before. Most of them, yes, because most of them were part of a couture show oh. worn by a model, and then it's tailored to fit the celebrity, unless it was custom designed. And Rent the Runway is a service that I use all the time because you get to rent dresses for 25 bucks. Right. right. You only wear them one time. I think it's so smart. And I think what's even smarter is women are starting to use this to create income out of their own closet. So say you have a fabulous wardrobe that you've already paid for, you can rent it out for other people in your community. There's apps that kind of do it geotag based. So people come to your uh, closet so and get clothes? There's a difference between oh, wearing a, a, a gown that was worn by Giselle and a lady named Gina down the street. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, 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 Listen, I don't know what the standards are of this place, but I say definitely investigate the place you go to yeah. to make sure that they keep up with the clothes because if they don't, then it may be a very you know messy situation. You what's so situation. interesting when reading the article? There's so much clothing waste in, in, yes. in, in, in the world. Actually, this is the Netherlands. And if you go into your closet, they say statistically, you only wear 20% of what is in so your true. closet. Yeah. The rest just sits yeah, there. So this is a great way to recycle clothes. I wear all clothes. my clothes. Yeah. I wear and save all money. Thousand we're times. like, I'm the whole I don't have pace of fast fashion, like every week you need to buy something new. We're creating this obsessive compulsive addiction to shopping and to clothes. And as women, I mean, think about your friends. Like, wouldn't you just rather borrow something that they have Plus, that's it's really also cute? trendy. That's right. It goes out of style. Out so of style. why buy it? Everything yeah. comes back. So save it's everything. Same. It's like leasing a car, you know? It's like you pay a, a monthly, you know, yeah. subscription. You get the brand new clothes as, as you go along. I think it's a great idea. Well, Meredith, okay. Meredith can yes. we borrow that top then? Can we switch yeah. out the back? Yes, of course you can. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> mentioning these. The library. <laughs> In the library, I want to show you a, a book, a more traditional library, that I would like to check out of the library. It's called Irish Farmers. Take a look at this. Yeah. Oh, cute baby animals. Yes. This is a real book. It's new from St. Yeah, hello. Oh. From St. Martin's Press. It started out as a calendar, and then they realized we're onto something good. <laughs> the mission is to showcase irresistibly cute animals and pasty dudes without <laughs> shirts. Bro. I love it. Meredith, are you popping a bottle? And like flipping through that, really? I well, I happen to love a farmer. I love a I farmer. Know, you love I a do. Farmer. I love a farmer. I love somebody who works with his hands and the earth and the. What are you giving the but look? This is creepy. <laughs> who puts a goat on their neck? That's kind of like he's creepy. a farmer. I think it's. Yeah. Great. I, I have a favorite photo from this oh, book. Right. This is an, uh, of a farmer with uh, with a, like a lioness on his. Take a look at this. I love. Ah! I mean. Like them farmers, yeah. baby. That I love them sense. farmers. Well, if you like this and you like reading, uh, if you like hot men, there's a, an Instagram account. You have to go hot dudes reading. It's a good. Oh, account. I know that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good, a good one. one. Hot well, men. I reading. like it's hot good. farmers with me wrapped around them.